What's happening people? Back with another review and this is Endgame FIFA 22 and today I'm back looking at another hero card he is nicknamed the Toto the Italian striker, the Udinese one club wonder Antonio Di Natale now again this is his fat hero shapeshifters obviously when his original card came out it broke the market it was going for about a million this is another S tier attacker right here as you can see 5 star skill moves 4 star weak foot I've played him off the bench as I couldn't get him into my team I've played with him 38 times scoring 11 goals 6 assists 5 foot 7 high low work rate uh, incredible card incredible stats 97 pace 98 shooting 94 passing 98 dribbling 55 defending and 80 physical as you can see by the stats this card is gonna be incredible he was going he, uh, you could have got him for about 30 swaps in the last footies campaign cards currently on the market for 300k he's got finesse shot flair outside foot shot team player and the chip shot ability there's a quick look at his story. Di Natale was an incredible servant to Udinese over a 12 year period and enjoyed many heroic moments. In November 2010, Di Natale lit up the Stadio Friuli with two hat tricks, just 14 days netting a first half hat trick in a 4 0 victory over Lecce. He scored another hugely impressive trio of goals in a 3 1 win against Napoli, including an effort direct from a corner. Udinese would go on to finish fourth in Serie A in what was an exceptional season for both player and club started off his career as Empoli with one appearance and then moved to chemistry style heroes wow what a name 33 appearances 6 goals uh, before moving to Varese 4 appearances via Reggio 25 appearances 12 goals Empoli 177 appearances 55 goals then spending 12 years at Udinese 446 appearances 227 goals wow Playing for Italy over 10 years, 42 appearance, 11 goals. This guy was a goal machine even in real life. So, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Tonio Di Natale. Ginola's off on the wing. Di Natale peeling off at the back and what a finish. Even though he's a right winger, once he's in front of goal, his striker instincts kick in and he's a lethal finisher his shooting on this card is crazy got crazy amount of pace crazy shooting look at this for a lofted finish over the keeper wins the game for me at the death sorry draws the game for me shall I say there goes Ronaldinho Di Natale is off and look at this for shot power now that clip is just in there just to show you the power he can generate the shooting on this card is crazy look at this boom crazy shooting stats how's this for a free kick he really saved me this game which got me to the first checkpoint in div 2 which i haven't been able to get past but that goal really saved me what a free kick I wasn't even expecting him to be good at free kicks, but look at that off the top of the bar, which probably makes it impossible for the keeper to try and save it or do anything about it. This is one of those cards when it came out, everyone was going crazy. Look at the pace on this card, look how slick and silky he feels. Look at the pace, and he just goes off and finishes it off from the halfway line, all his own work. This is a fantastic right winger. Rashford gives it to Mbappe. Benzema's off. Di Natale back in the wing. Gets Dale first time shot. Again, the, the shooting on this card, I cannot you know, stress it enough. The shooting feels so good. Now, miss a penalty here can see the corner and Ronaldinho gets the ball eventually comes out to Di Natale 
and just look at his pace. No one's coming near him. No one's coming anywhere near him. And he's got the composure to finish it off. I wish I played more games with him because I wasn't able to fit him into my team. But I wish. I still got him in my club. So maybe I'll try to fit him in. But I wish I could get more. I played more games with this card. Because he is amazing. Di Natale on the wing. Gets past the defender. Look at that lovely skill. He, you forget this card has five star skill moves. Which is always handy. Look at the wing play there. Does beats the defender with a skill. Gets to the byline. Lays it off to Samuel Eto'o who finishes it. That's exactly what you want a winger to do. But there we have it guys. Incredible card. Incredible stats. Especially the shooting and the pace and the five star skill moves this card is incredible he's currently on the market for 300k even at this stage of the game but he has been in packs for a long time so likely likelihood of you already packing him is very high rating wise i'm giving this card an easy easy 10 out of 10 he's up there with the Ginellas and the mbappes in this game um, I'm really glad EA dropped a card like this and boosted his stats with the shapeshifters. I'm glad to have been able to use it. I hope to do that next year, especially with the likes of Fourline and Yaya Torre. Looking forward to that. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one.